Hey, this is the look of the day. I'm on my way to work. Stick around and see how I did it. I didn't wear any mascara either. It's just a shadow. It's the black eyeshadow. So. Hello, how are you all today? So I have some, I, I put pink curls on my hair last night. Look at that. I was like tired of waking up and trying to figure out how to do my hair. And sometimes it's it, to wash my hair in the morning and blow it dry and all that. It's a lot. It's, it's just a lot and it takes up time. And I, I like to spend my time doing a video here like this, or I just like to have more time doing videos and editing or watching some of your videos some of you girls that watch me and um i would like to say hello to cindy lifestyle with cindy she has been coming by and watching my videos and i watch hers and her and her husband are so cute they go on excursions and they have so much fun together so i just wanted to say hello and you guys should go watch her she's wonderful I have some wonderful friends that I watch all the time. And um, so I, I, I just wanted Cindy to get a little shout out. And also Yvette. Yvette, polished after over 60. Yvette, hello. And you and I need to do a collab because you asked me if I'd like to do one. So what do you have in mind? That would be so fun. Um, so I had a really cool experience yesterday. Okay, it's summertime and there's a certain pair of sunglasses that I love to wear during the summer. And I, uh, last summer I couldn't find them. And this, and up to now I couldn't find them. And I was worried that maybe, you know how like you go to a restaurant and you lay your phone down or you lay your, you lay your sunglasses down and then it gets dark and then you forget that you put your sunglasses on the table and they're gone forever, right? They're right? Yeah, so my husband bought me these really cute Maui Gym sunglasses probably about four years ago and I take really good care of my sunglasses and I was cleaning out a drawer and not a drawer that I actually go into very often. It's in my, my guest bathroom. So um, I had I had this cabinet that I had moved from my guest bath from my from my guest room into my guest bathroom and it, it was it's actually a shelf unit but it has this little tiny drawer at the top and lo and behold I could not for the life of me remember that I must have put them in there look at my little Maui gems these are so cute for the summer I love my, and, and they're older, but I just love them because they got the little blue inside. It's just cute. Maui Gems. My sister has the identical pair. <laughs> oh, hi, sis, in case you're watching. And along with the Maui Gem sunglasses, I have a collection of silver bracelets that I wear all the time. Well, these got lost right around the same time. And I, what did I do? Did I pack them away, go on a vacation? Uh, did I did I leave them in some hotel room or something? I never leave my jewelry there, but look. I found them! And I love wearing these. And I just couldn't find them. Well, they were in that drawer with the Maui Gym. So there you go. Hello. Good morning, everybody. I am Lady Yaya. For those of you who do not know, if you're here for the first time, I am overwhelmed right now by the fact that um, I have a bunch of new subscribers and I want to thank you. I want to thank you, those of you who have been with me for supporting me. And um, I, I got out of the stall. All of a sudden, I have a bunch of you sweet people joining the community, and I so appreciate you. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, I'm wearing an outfit today from Sheen. I don't know, I, I have to do a little fashion show from you, but for you. But anyways, isn't this cute? These are like the, okay, these are like Palazzo pants, like 
they're just really wide legged pants they look like skirt and this blouse goes like this but i kind of like to tuck it a little bit because you know it's too it's too bloomy otherwise for me i kind of get lost in it <laughs> i don't isn't that cute and i just wear a little black tank little tiny black tank underneath so today is i'm still going to work i put my makeup on for work but i always try to do some kind of a makeup for you so this is the color my skin is from yesterday when i put on the il maquillage self tanning and i have to do a demo on that because um it's really nice i don't like to do too much of it because i don't i just like to get a little bit of a golden glow you know, I don't have to have that savage tan that we all liked when we were kids. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my skin looks pretty good today. Uh, I'm trying to do a close-up so you guys can see. My skin is not so flawless. I have, I have crepey skin under my eyes. I have some of this little saggy stuff going on. Um, I have wrinkles here. Yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm 65. I'm going to be 66 next month. Woo! I'm ageless, right? I'm ageless. I'm ageless. Okay. I am trying out this new sunblock supposed to be beautiful it's called beauty of josen um relief for sun it's 50 it's an f spf 50 i got this on amazon now some people are selling it for like 26 dollars on their website or on their site so this is what it looks like it's called beauty of josen I got it on Amazon for $16.99, something really ridiculous like that. Everybody else is selling it for $26. This is supposed to make your skin feel wonderful. Well, we will see. So here we go. I'm going to put it on here like this. Yeah. I'll let you know. Somebody said, oh, my skin feels so hydrated. <laughs> You know how many times I bought a product? There was a moisturizer that um, some influ... I'm not going to say the name of the influencer. They were saying, this is the best moisturizer you could possibly buy. It's amazing. Once you try this moisturizer, you will never go back. Well, I bought the moisturizer. And it it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap either. You know what? I use it for a hand cream now. I didn't think it did anything. It did nothing for my skin. <coughs> okay. Whoa, this is nice. I like that this is a 50 sunblock. I was using this, which is a nice moisturizer, but I like the idea of having 50 on, especially during the summer. Maybe during the winter, I'll go back to that. Ooh, this... It's very nice. It's very nice. I like it. Okay, I like it. I'll see how I feel about during the day. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation today. I want to use it up because I absolutely love it. And I did find something that I like just as well. It's the Elf Soft Glam. This, I, I think they're very comparable for me. Now, everybody's different. But these are wonderful. It's going to be really hard for me to try to use other products. But I, I might do some. Um, Joseph from the House of Joseph was talking about mixing serums and foundations too. And I'm going to try some of his techniques to see if I can work with some other some of my other foundations. Which I actually like. But once I tried these, I'm kind of like, I've, I've kind of gotten spoiled, girls. I'm really, seriously. So, what I like to do is take this and load my foundation brush up. It doesn't even look like I need foundation today. I'm serious. You know, even though I have some wrinkles on my skin. 
And oh, I love my little pin curl set. I just sat there and watched TV last night for about 20 minutes and put on my pin curls. I just stuck them in there randomly. I'll have to show you what it looks like. And I thought, you know, what a great way to get my hair looking decent because my hair has been, my hair is like so random. And I, if I'm going to do a video for you in, in the next day, I, I don't want to get up at four in the morning just so I can do a video. Right? Right. Well, I need my beauty breast. And that's another thing when we become ageless, we have to get our beauty rest. We just do. Oh, so I have a couple of um, wig videos coming up. One of you girls said I should go silver or I should try a silver wig. Well, I thought it was great when you said that because I have a silver wig that I'm going to put on for you. Oh, I have a, um, they're going to be two separate ones. I can't do a whole video and put two wigs on in the same video. It's too much. I got to give each one their, their rightful, um, opportunity to be shown off. So the other one is an auburn and it's beautiful. My husband loved it, loved it. And, and I'm liking being a brunette now that I figured out how to pin curl my hair and make it look good in the morning. You know, at least I feel, I feel put together, more put together. I was just all over the place before. Okay, so let's put on some, I really like this. I'm hooked on this right now. So I'm just going to contour and bronze with it. I like these kind of brushes to do this with. And I'm going to use this side. And I'm just going to put it on. So this is like one of those. I don't know. What am I going to do today? I think I'm going to do something that looks more uh, natural today. A natural looking makeup without too much stuff going on. Okay, what, what did I do with my... Let's see. Let's just blend it. With my hair like this, I don't feel like I need much, a lot of makeup. This color, I really was suffering. I really was struggling with putting on makeup with this, with this hair color. And what I realized is I don't, because it's so good for my complexion, the blonde I made, okay, listen girls, the blonde looked good on me. And, but I had to work really hard to get my features to show up and it looked like it was good for my complexion but actually it really washed me out I have this dream team it's the butter dream team physicians formula face palette and i'm just going to work off this today i'm going to take this little shiny gold right here and i'm just going to put a little bit on my lid with my fingers oh wow not pretty and Just like that and then I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take a brush and just take this and just go in with this color right here in the crease it's gonna be more net neutral soft looking very soft looking, barely there. Oh, I really like Shimmer Shine. You know, Wayne Goss, that, and by the way, the technique that I used was Wayne Goss's makeup application. Um, Wayne Goss said about Shimmer. When an older woman wears Shimmer, it makes her look younger. When a younger woman wears Shimmer, it makes her look older. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Okay, so I'm just going to take this little bit of blush here and just put some here. Just use my fingers. That's plenty. Sometimes I don't want any real major color on my face. 
So today is one of those days. There you go. All right. And then I will take this brush right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right here and just go with this one and just like that. I might put a little bit of shimmer right here on my chest. Why not? I'm gonna have to wash this brush now and we'll be able to use it. It's really gonna make me too shimmery shiny. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, eyeliner. I have this little black eyeliner. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what the name of this eyeliner is. It's called Black Rose Shadow by Eflon. Eflon, E-P-H-L-A-N. Um, eyeshadow, black rose, black rose eyeshadow. You can tell I use it a lot. I have it sitting on my makeup counter, on my makeup desk um, station. And this is, <laughs> I have it sitting open because the thing broke off. These little things, they're always breaking. Either I'm really rough or these little guys are just really fragile. I don't know, go figure. And then I'm gonna just use a uh, angle liner. First of all, I think I better do, I need to do my brows. I'm just gonna take an angle brush. I see this right here? Because I just wanna, it's probably not dark enough, but I'm just gonna take it and just do my eyebrows really quick with it. Anyways, I found this, this outfit that I have on that I showed you. Um, I got it from this website called Sheen. Okay, now, granted, I am not being sponsored. Okay, this is perfect. Um, I'm not being sponsored by Sheen. My sister turned me on to Sheen. And, um, and oh, by the way, this is the Family Dollar Tree, Dollar Family Dollar. Um, my sister turned me on to Sheen, and this top cost me $3.99. The pants cost me $6.99, and they're so comfortable, and there's, it looks like I spent a bunch of money. You know, there, that looks better. That looks so much better. And I had to take some of that makeup off. That was a little much, but look, I love my hair. Oh, this is like so good. I love my hair like this. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I have no idea how happy I am. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little trick. I have this rose water that I get out, got off of Amazon. It's called Rose Petals and I just, this is a no mascara day because I've run out of time and I just put this on and I put it in this little black rose palette and I just go along my lash line. I always start when I do my, my shadow, I'm going to bring you in closer. When I do my shadow, I always start from the middle. my way in and then I take another angle brush and I smudge it a little bit so it's not perfect like that okay so you can do little things with it I don't smudge it with this angle brush because this one has too much product on it and I don't want to get really a bunch of stuff on me. So, and then I just soften it out with this brush on, you know, here. And I put it on like that. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. Start from the middle. I angle it up slightly, but I really constantly focus on the lash line, especially if I'm not wearing any mascara today. And then just go across. I mean, I'm not going out tonight, so. And then I'm gonna smudge it up with this clean brush. Well, it's not clean now. I just want that line to go up a little bit more. And that's that for that. And, um.
there's that. And then now right underneath the eye, I just do here, I just go from the middle along the lash line and I just touch it up. Sorry. I always start from the middle and then I don't do it heavy because it's, I don't feel like I really need as much makeup. When I was blonder, I did because I kind of faded into the background. My sister kept saying, you're always so pale looking like me. <laughs> and she was right. Okay, I have one thing to say to all of you. The last couple days, and this goes with the territory. Anytime you put yourself out there, you're gonna get criticism. I. Honestly, I love your critiques. And some of you say the cutest things, and I am not offended. I embrace it, okay? I do not tolerate rude, cruel, rude comments on Lady Yaya's channel. Because I'm about keeping everything positive and loving and kind. What is this? Everybody, kind criticism, criticism kind critiquing is wonderful. I love it. But cruel comments, insulting comments, I will not. That is not allowed here. All right, look, this is another thing I found. I found it in another drawer. I've been cleaning things out. This is, I don't know which one this is. This is called, oh, it, I got this in my Ipsy matte, matte lip cream. And I got this little cute little, look, I can put it in my purse as a little, not that I can see. I have to find glasses on when I look in this mirror. <laughs> um, so it goes like this. I'm just gonna put a little pink on today. So yeah, if you wanna comment, Feel free. I try to respond to everybody. I really do. And I appreciate you all. And I take my time. And and that's another thing. I like to have a little time to do that. All right. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to work. I think I might soften this just a tad. It's a little bright for work. So I think I'm going to take a... A little bit of a softer pink. There. That's better. All right, guys. I will see you later. Thank you. Thank you for so much for watching. And remember to be ageless. Remember to take care of yourself. Remember to drink your water. Please put some makeup on if you feel like it. Or a little blush or a little lipstick. Whatever. And I will see you soon in the next video. Love you, love you. Bye for now.